Alright, next I'm going to do some of the spinal reflexes. Um, and this is to test the components of the reflex arc, the peripheral and sensory, uh, the peripheral sensory and motor nerves, as well as their corresponding spinal segments. Um, any depressed or absent response um, could localize the lesion to the region being tested. Um, mm -hmm. If the response is exaggerated, that could be an upper motor neuron sign. Um, so I'm going to start with the forelimb. Uh, so I'm going to start with the um, biceps reflex. So just tap. The normal response is elbow flexion, and this tests spinal segment C6 to C8. Uh, same thing can be done with the triceps. This should result in elbow extension. And these two forelimb reflexes, uh, usually you won't see much of a response. Um, if you do, that could indicate a lesion. Um, we didn't really see much of a reaction with Ginny here. Uh, the next test is going to be the prostate sensor test. So I'm going to pinch um, both sides of her toes. Um, and the normal response should be flexion of all the thoracic limbs. Or sorry, all of the joints in the thoracic limb. And she flexes her whole leg. Um, and that tests um, spinal segment C7 to T2. Um, while I'm doing the withdrawal reflex, I'm also looking for a cross extensor um, response. Uh, if that was occurring, then you would see her um, opposite limb extending. Uh, since this isn't happening, that's a normal response. If the crossed extensor reflex was present, um, this would indicate a lesion between the brain and C5. So I'm going to move on to the pelvic limbs next. So I'm going to start with the patellar reflex. Um, I'm just going to find the patellar tendon here. A normal response is uh, extension of the stifle, and this tests uh, spinal segments L4 to L6. Um, the next I'm going to do um, the sciatic. And this one we should see flexion of the stifle and hock. See a little bit there. Um, and that's testing segments L5 to S2. And then the withdrawal can also be done on the hind limb to test the uh, pelvic plexus or the lumbosacral plexus, which is uh, segments L6 to S2. So again, I'm going to pinch her toes and I should, she should flex uh, all of the joints of her limb, which she does. And also there is absence of the cross extensor reflex since she's not extending this limb as she's flexing this 